guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, Tonks Boutique. Our eBay store is also called Tonks Boutique. Um, we are resellers, we buy at charity shops, auctions, car boot sales, we use Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, and we put it back online and try and sell for a profit. In today's video, we're going to show you some of our recent sales after Christmas, and I hope this gives you an idea of what to look out for. Not surprisingly, after Christmas, when people got their brand new consoles, they were looking for games to play. The first one was Skylanders Imaginators, and that sold for £50. I sold The Last of Us and Days Gone, and I put the wrong address label on both envelopes, and both customers got the wrong game. The customer who got The Last of Us didn't reply back to my message, and the customer who got Days Gone instead of The Last of Us wasn't happy. He opened a return case and he didn't return the game. So I think he's realised the Days Gone game is dearer than The Last of Us and decided to keep the game. We sold Cars 2 for £9 and we sold Knack for Knack 2 for £18. Knack games usually sell quite fast. Um, we sold Resident Evil for £10 and Skylanders for £20. Skylander PS4 games are worth picking up as you can fetch good money for them. Um, Heavenly Soul for the PS3 went for £3.99. Mortal Kombat went for £6.99. There's a lot of scratches in that disc, but you can get a lot more if the disc is in very good condition. Max Payne 3 and Metal Gear Solid went for £6.99. And a PlayStation 1 went for £9.99. With the PlayStation Store giving away free games like Destiny, I wasn't sure I was going to get £9.99, but I was happy to bundle it in together. And they went quite fast, surprisingly. Next up, I'm going to show you some clothing that sold after Christmas. Um, I sold 26 of these anime t-shirts and the same customer came back and he's bought 17 of them in total. In this order, we sold another 6 to him. It's worth out about £37. We picked this up at a car boot sale for £1. They wanted £2 and without me even asking, would you take a pound or 50 pence or whatever, the guy just went, just take it for a pound. So we took it for a pound and it sold for £12.99. We bought a lot of Look Great t-shirts, there was about £1.20, £1.50, something like that each, and we sold this bundle for £13.99. This Boohoo dress was us 8 pence, and on an off, not an offer, on a sale, it sold for £11.69. We got this for 8 pence as well from the same seller, um, I had a little snag on the arm, but we still managed to get £9.99 and it sold after Christmas. And this was about 120 to 150 and it's over £9.99. We bought a lot of cycling jerseys and two big bales and we've listed 70 cycling tops so far. We've still got another like 400 plus to list and this is a thick padded jersey and it's over for £40. And this is a second cycling jersey that was sold after Christmas and this one only sold for £12.50. I think we picked this up at a charity shop for either £1 or £1.50. I think it was £1.50 and it sold after Christmas quite fast for £14.99. These inks we've had on our eBay website for quite a while now. I think they cost 15 pence and we sold a pack of four for £19.99. This Walkman I believe cost us £1.50. We paid a pound at a cab boot sale for the Walkman and paid 50 pence out of Poundland for the headphones. This Nerf gun cost us 8 pence and we sold it for £19.99. And from the same seller, this cost 8 pence and we sold it for £26.99. It's a Silver, silver Cross Dolls Pram Sun Canopy. And we got this at Hogwarts Cabot sale, it cost £6 and in the end it sold for £29.99. We did have a few inquiries about it but it took a while to go. But in the end, it's over £29.99. We picked this up at a charity shop for £3. It's a really nice face, really heavy, well made, and it's over £29.99. We got these Nike Force trainers for £2, I think it was, and it's over £29.99. We had something like 15 watches on it, and they were up for a few months. We kept sending offers out, and in the end, it's over full price. We picked this heat lamp up. I remember right, the guy wanted £10 for it and I talked him down to £6, £6 or £7 and it sold for £29.99. It came with the instructions. We paid £16 for these lamps and 
on a sale that sold for £31.49. Really nice mason lamps. We sold a few Toy Story bundles before and after Christmas, and each bundle only loses a few pounds, and these sold for £39.99 on a sale. We paid £8 at a cab out sale for this LOL surprise camper, camper van. It came with a doll and a dog and a couple of accessories. Quite a heavy item, and it sold for £39.99. We picked this up at a charity shop for £10, and as soon as we listed it, it sold straight away on Best Offer, and it sold for £50. I think we had up at 65 to start with. We found these Winnie the Pooh figures in a charity shop box. It was £10 for a pound, and these cost us 40 pence, and we sold them for £9.99. This snorkel set cost us eight pence, and it sold for £10.99. Again, another eight pence item. We got two basketballs, and this is the first one that sold for £12.99. We paid £1.50 for this builder bear, and the bear cost us £1, and from the same seller, we paid 50 pence for a bag of clothes. We had it in auction several times, and it didn't go. So I put it up for, I think it was around £70 or £60, and we accepted an offer of £50. I thought over Christmas, people would have bid on it, but nobody. Nobody bid, there's no interest, lots of costumes. But it took quite a while to go in the end. But I was happy from £1.50 to £50. We picked this up recently. Um, it cost £1 in the charity shop. There was two missing pieces and we spent £9 to get the missing pieces from eBay. And as soon as we listed it, it sold more or less straight away for £74.99 for the asking price. I picked this up at a cab boot sale, it was a charity stall, and the women wanted three pounds for them. Being a football fan myself, I knew they were vintage because it's Ronaldinho, Australian footballer. I played for the likes of Barcelona. And we had quite a lot of watchers in a very short space of time. I thought something like 12, 13 watchers. I sent a few offers out. I originally had them up for 135. Nobody took the offers, and then I got an offer through of 100 pounds and I accepted it. People were sending me silly offers like £50, £70, but I just ignored them because souls were for £100 plus. These dogs are £25 in a charity shop. My wife told me not to buy them. They're ugly, they won't sell, it's a waste of money. And within a couple of hours of listening, they sold for the full asking price of £120. And I did have £120 plus offers on, so that was a very good sale. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please think about it. Until next time, bye. So this is a cat puppy. He's 13 years old and sleeps a lot. She's had a few operations recently. She's got a room removed and she has some lumps cut off her belly. But she seems to be okay after the operation, but she's put on a lot of weight. This is a very noisy cat, she's very small. People think she's a little kitten, but she's 11 years old. Kiltrex. My son named her Kiltrex when he was a baby, because he says she kept doing Kiltrex. Cool